This is renovating a vintage workshop type steam engine part 4. Earlier on in the series I showed how the flywheel was damaged from someone hammering the key in with too much force and it chipped a big lump out of the flywheel so I'm going to fix it. First of all though I will need to machine the damaged part parallel so I need to make a mandrel to mount the flywheel in the lathe so I can machine it. The mandrel is turned from a piece of mild steel bar and the flywheel is held in place on the mandrel using Loctite 603. Apply some Loctite 603 to the mandrel and then spin the flywheel on the mandrel to spread the adhesive. Some time needs to elapse to allow the Loctite to grab and a cup of tea at this stage is usually quite a good idea. It is very important to support the mandrel at the other end. For this, as you can see, I'm using a live centre. I took very light cuts because I didn't want to disturb the repair and of course the lathe is in back gear, running slowly. Here you can see the cutting process in action, and I'm actually doing it in steps, a little bit at a time, because I do not want to disturb the original attempt at a repair that someone's done. Once the flywheel boss is machined parallel, as you can see here, I have to remove the mandrel. Now it's no good just hammering away at the mandrel, you're just going to destroy the flywheel. Using a propane torch, I'm getting the centre boss of the flywheel hot enough to destroy the Loctite's bond. And by gently, and I mean gently, tapping out the piece of steel, it comes away and you're left with a flywheel with a parallel boss ready to take the next step of the repair, which is to make a simple cover to cover the damage. I'm using a piece of mild steel for this, and I've drilled it down the centre, so now I'm boring it out to the diameter of the machine part of the flywheel, I've already turned down the outside diameter somewhat. So it's just a simple plain turning job. Turning and boring. I don't mean boring as in boring. Boring as in boring. Here I'm turning down the outside diameter to exactly the same diameter as the remainder of the flywheel boss. Here you see me parting off the work and it was quite a hard piece of steel and my parting tool was really protesting. So here is a flywheel showing the remachined damaged boss and here is the cover for it. It's not a tight fit on the boss, I don't want to have to hammer it in place. It's just a light push fit on the boss. With the application of some Loctite 603 it will become permanently fixed to this boss and it will be very difficult to move. Unless of course you heat it up with a blow lamp which I'm not going to be doing. I'm applying the Loctite 603 to the cap and I'm using plenty as you can see here. The reason for doing a proper job on this is quite simple. I could have used a file, cleaned up the damaged boss and painted it in with a lot of black paint and no one would have been any wiser. Until maybe one day when the repair gave way and a piece of cast iron flew off and hit somebody in the eye. So I always try and do things properly, sometimes maybe a little over the top, but I don't apologise for that. If a job is worth doing, it's worth doing well as the old saying goes. And here is the finished cover in place. I'm tapping it down using a hammer and a piece of mahogany to prevent marking the cap. And now I'm rotating the cap to make sure that the Loctite is evenly spread around the boss. Here in the north of England it's February 2015 and it's very cold. And in my workshop it's also very cold. So I'm just using a small blowtorch to warm up the work so that the Loctite grabs. And a quick test fit of the crankshaft, and all is well. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful.